most of your entertainers, black entertainers and stuff like that, they were all voted Republican. And the reason why a lot of the Democrats get into office because when blacks was able to vote and they knew the, the Democrats knew that the Repu that black people held Republican tickets, they took their tickets out of their hands and put two Democrats in the box. They believe the other side is completely immoral and that they have something wrong with them. They don't believe that their ideals are wrong. They're like the people who vote on that side, they believe that they are instinctively evil. That's the problem. So black Americans are voting Democrat at a rate of 90%. Yes. And despite that, 38% of black children are living in poverty. Yes. 73% of black mothers are single mothers. Yes. 40% of government assistant cases are black Americans. Yes. Do you think that the Democratic Party is serving black Americans well? No, I don't. No, I don't. You agree? And you have to remember that it was the Republican Party that started. In the beginning, black people was for the Republicans. And, and, and what year, I don't remember when it got turned around, but Right, yes. Under Johnson. Under Johnson. When he signed right. the welfare bill. The New Deal. Yes, yeah. the New Deal. Yeah. Thank you. I know my history. Thank you. I don't What is your name? Alberta Frederick. Black people voted Republican. In fact, I want to say Yes. In fact, they was the ones who when Lincoln was in office, black people was all in that office until Woodrow Wilson, Wilson. the Democrat, took him out. The racist that he was, okay, he took him out, left one, and he had to share the party that he was in, share whatever office that he is in with a Democrat white person, okay? That was Woodrow Wilson who did that. And then the ones that was Democrats and they were black, they were the slave owners because almost 4,000 blacks were slave owners. And they treated the blacks worse. They pleaded, treated their slaves worse than the white man. And at the same time, not only was the white man 10% of the white population that was slave owners, the one that was pushing up uh, right behind them with the most slaves was the Cherokee Indians. Okay, that's my family. And then the third, and the third ones was the black Americans that was here. This the that, that was the free men, the free slaves, and the free men. The ex so before I get too deep, bro. These women obviously know a lot about the history of black people in America. But stuff like this kind of makes me a little sad because when I watch videos like this, um, probably because I'm a little ignorant when it comes to these topics, I'm not going to lie. I just feel like, wow, these women have really done their research and they really care about, you know, the black community. That's my genuine thoughts because... It's probably ignorance because I don't really look into these topics like that. I just watch it to, you know, learn, you know. But I know I'm not ignorant enough to say that mo majority of people think how I think. I know that majority of people, when they hear this, they're like, wow, these women don't know what they're talking about, bro. These women are whatever insults you can throw at them. And it's just sad because... I think they actually care about our community. I think they want the best interest. Their 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 thoughts are in the best interest of our community. But I know that this is a controversial video for them or for everybody. But I don't think it should be. I think we should all be striving to get the best for the world and for our citizens. And I know that because we're so stuck in our thoughts or stuck in our ways, most of us don't think like that. Most of us don't strive to get the best for our community or the best for our people, and it sucks. It's a little sad when I hear it, I'm not going to lie. Ex the former slaves and the uh, free men, they were the one who ran the Republican Party, okay, until Woodrow Wilson. And at the same time, like I said, the vast majority of your black uh, slave owners was the Democrats. Up That's right. Yeah, what the Democrats? A lot of people don't realize that the, the, the KKK was an arm of the Democratic Party. Exactly. They was an arm. And yeah. then at the same time, they became even more popular under LBJ. Right. And then at the same time, because he was a, a Ku Klux Klan. And, and I remember, because I was 13 years old when I went to that civil rights march, okay, with Martin Luther King, who was a Republican. That's right. Who was a Republican? All right. The thing is, is that uh, and you know, it's crazy. If Martin Luther King was around today, 
like right now, he would probably get canceled. Martin Luther King, he would probably get canceled. This is sad, bro. This stuff makes me extremely sad because... Anyways, let me just finish the video. Um, most of your entertainers, black entertainers and stuff like that, they all voted Republican. And the reason why a lot of the Democrats get into office, because when blacks was able to vote, okay, when they were able to vote, and they knew, the, the Democrats knew that the, Repu the, the black people held Republican tickets, they took their tickets out of their hands and put two. Democrats in the box. What? Okay, that's how they got back into the office. The Democrats. Okay, that's how they rule the main. Cause they took they stuffed up the ballot box. Just like Al Gore, who was Ku Klux Klan, his father was, when LBJ was signing the Civil Rights Bill, his father, the Grand Wizard, okay, was out there having a fit doing the um, filibuster. There's no way. Okay. I think she could teach a course. Yes, she can. Yeah. Yeah. Could I ask you a couple questions? Cause this, so uh, if I may. Um, I voted Democrat my whole life because I believed that they cared about gay people. I, I believe that they cared about black people, about brown people. I don't believe that anymore. I walked away from the Democratic Party. I created something called the Walk Away Campaign. Okay. You started it? I started it. Wow. wow. <laughs> you, have you heard of it? Yes. yes. I mean, I heard it. Yes. 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 And, and all yes. folks. Yes. 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 So, so we made a movie called The Great Awakening, Breaking the Chains of the Democratic Party. It's made with the testimonials of 20 black Americans who have walked away. It's amazing. Why are 90% of black people still voting Democrat when the Democrats don't care? Because the Democrats made it seem like under uh, LBJ that they was becoming like uh, the Republican. Never mind the Republican. Bro, the reason that people, and I'm telling you from a young man's perspective, and I'm not, I don't want people to think of that. I'm anti parties. I'm not. Like, I'm really not. I'm not at all. I'm saying that right now. I don't even know enough about the parties to be anti a party. That's why I have y'all. But the reason people, majority of African Americans vote Democrat, and I'm going to tell y'all, is because when you're brought up, you learn that one side is a good side and one side is a bad side. That's what you're taught. When in reality, that is not the case. Both sides have good things and both sides have not so good things. That's just life. Like, that's anything, though. So when you're taught that one side is good and one side is bad, and you're really taught that on a, like, a instinctual level, like, you, you're bred to believe that, you're never, a lot, majority of people aren't going to question it. They're just going to be like, okay, this side is good, so I'm going to vote for them. My friends and family is voting for them. I'm going to keep voting for them. But if you ever question it, and even if you question it and you still decide that they're the best side, at least you're questioning it. But when you're just taught that, you know, this side is good, you're going to you're gonna believe that the other side is immoral. And that's the problem. They believe the other side is completely immoral and that they have something wrong with them. They don't believe that their ideals are wrong. They believe that they're, they're the people, they're like the people who vote on that side, they believe that they are instinctively evil. That's the problem, man. And that's the belief that I, I want a lot of people to get rid of. Just because you vote a certain way, I guess, or you have certain beliefs, the person is not the belief. That's my thoughts. The person is not the belief. Whether they are, they are um, Democrat or Republican. That's why I say when I watch videos, I'm like, just because somebody votes uh, left wing, they're not an evil person. But, you know, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm just young and dumb. <laughs> I don't think I am, but... Republican never gave you welfare. Right. He ne they never gave you welfare. And the black people said, oh, well, we needed welfare. No, you never did. We, we was doing fine without it. That's right. I think so, too. I'm right. fine without it. But since when people know that, because even uh, Booker T. Washington, um, he talked about why he, he noticed that how, when he did the Tuskegee Institute thing, you had to make your own bed. Okay? So when the rich people wanted to send their kids there, he told them he they they I guess they put in a note they didn't want the child to do this and this thing that he just looked at it tossed it away and told the kid you want a bed here's the wood okay wow. make your own yeah. bed he said I love that and then book it and then at the same time Frederick Douglass always said you want to help the white the black man 
don't because they know you give somebody something all the time just like a child right. they don't want to do you get some for right earn your keep and don't you i agree you should earn your keep making kids build a bed is kind of wild though that is low-key wild but i do like the analogy or the example used you can't just give people everything bro you have to at some point be like you know what i want to go earn something that's like if you grew up in a family and the family's rich I mean, <laughs> you probably wouldn't be taking that money. So that's probably not even a good example. But y'all get what I'm saying, bro. Like, you can't give everybody everything. They're not going to want it for themselves. You remember that phrase, teach a man to fish? Is it that? Yeah. Right, you teach him how to fish. You don't give him a fish. Right. Fish, okay? Because right. even Jesus said when they was up after he fed the 5,000, and then they come to the far and they want to hear. He said, no, you came to me not because you wanted to hear what I have to say and just think, because Amen. I fed you. Right. So they want to get fed again right. for free. Don't you think it's time for a change? I do. I really think it's time for a change. Yeah. And this this guy Cuomo, I remember his father. His father was nothing. Right. His, really? Yes. I do agree. His father was nothing. And he's worse than his father. It, Talking about he doesn't want a conservative in this not welcome here. Well, look, I'm not Borg. You ever watch Star Trek? I don't. I don't. Oh, well, yeah. I saw Star Trek. Right. I'm not a Borg. Right. Okay. okay? Now, I'm you go look at Tor Star Trek and find out what a Borg is. Yes. No? They conform. I am not a Borg. I'm allowed to have my own mind. And that's facts, bro. That's what I've been saying. Everyone needs to just form their own opinion, bro. That's just what it is, bro. But anyways, I'm in this video here. Um, obviously, she <laughs> has her own thought pattern, and I have my own pattern. But anyways, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel, and I'll see y'all next time.